Today I'm going to show you how to make a very hard reflection in Photoshop. And by hard, I mean difficulty. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNace, or you can find me here at Flurn making videos to help you guys get better at Photoshop and photography. Today we're working with a question Jeff sent in, and he said, um, when I'm photographing something and trying to make a reflection uh, of something that has a flat bottom, it's pretty easy, but if it has a curved bottom, like if something's photographed at an angle, so like this would be like flat bottom, and this would be like curved, uh, photographed at an angle, he's finding it really hard to make those reflections. And, um, He's finding it really hard for a reason because it's very hard to do. It's so dang hard to do. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So we gotta get into it because we got a lot of work and it's gonna be, uh, it's it's a hard, it's an advanced tutorial. It's gonna kick my butt. You're gonna watch me struggle, but uh, we're gonna do it. All right, here's an easy one. This is just, this is super easy. It's got a flat bottom and you just like flip it upside down and lower the opacity and put a gradient on it. Like super easy. This is like what Apple does with all their products. Uh, couldn't be easier. This is a Coke can that's shot in perspective. You can see the top of the can, you can see the bottom of the can has a curve. And um, it's very hard. And let me show you guys why, just really quickly. If I make a copy of this layer and then uh, flip it vertically, there we go, let's just set this blending mode to like darken or something real quick. You can see if you do this, like that doesn't look real. It's never going to look real. It's never going to look good. And you just, you can't flip it upside down. Yeah, I've seen this on the internet before, by the way, and it always looks horrible. Um, the reason why this is hard is because you don't have the information that's necessary to create this reflection. Um, because you have to create, if you can see the top of a Coke can in the reflection, you'll be able to see the bottom of it, but you can't see the bottom of it. So you have to recreate the entire bottom of the Coke can. Uh, and it's very hard to do. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So the first thing I would I need to do is I need to cut this Coke can out pretty well. So to do that, I'm going to grab my pen tool, but I'm going to show you guys a trick with the pen tool. Um, we don't have to grab, cut the whole thing out. All right. We do have other episodes, by the way, on Flurn on, uh, on using the pen tool. So if you guys need to, um, need to brush up, just type in pen tool up on the search bar. All right. So we're going to click around our uh, can. Notice I started somewhere in the middle and I did that for a reason. Uh, which I will cover really uh, in a bit. I would love to cover you know the pen tool more in this tutorial, but uh, we you know we just don't have time to do it. So if you guys are curious on the pen tool, just type in pen into uh, into the search bar. All right, there we go. And I'm going to click and drag there to make a selection, and click and drag there. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to click right here and then drag out. There we go, and this is going to create, uh, you know, half of our, half of our Coke can. Okay, that looks pretty good, and uh, I just did the left half, and the reason is I'm just going to come up here and finish that off. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to go to our paths, and I'm going to call this um, can left. Okay, now we're going to turn this into a selection. I'm going to command click on this can left. We're going to go to our layers. I'm going to make a new layer, hit Alt or Option Delete to fill that with our foreground color. And then I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate it, Command T, right click, hit Flip Horizontal, and we're going to bring this over here. So the, the reason why I only did half of the selection, we're going to shift click those and merge them together with Command D. The reason I only did half of the can is because now I can flip it and we have a perfectly symmetrical uh, uh, selection here. I don't have to worry about making it perfect on both sides. I just make one and flip it. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to command click this, which is going to turn this layer into a selection. And on my can here, I'm going to click on my layer mask. Okay, so now what we have is a perfect selection of a can. This is what the layer mask looks like. Perfect selection of a can on the layer mask. So like if I duplicated that, you could see it's like, you know, oh cool, looks like the can. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now comes for the part where we actually have to get some work done. Um, on the bottom can, what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, or sorry, we're going to flip this upside down. So I'm going to hit Command T, we're going to right click and say flip vertical, and this will become the bottom can. But we're not set just yet. We're not set to do much with it just yet. So this top can here, what we're going to do with that is I'm going to use my marquee tool, and I'm going to make a selection that looks right about like this. We want to make sure we, we can get in, you know, 
what would be perspective the bottom of this can. There we go. That looks pretty good. Because we have to recreate the bottom of the can, so you can see, like, you can imagine the can would go right about like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to hit Command J, and we're going to duplicate that selection, and then drag it down here. Okay, so this, that's going to be uh, up there. There's going to be a lot of layers, but the top can, of course, is going to stay on the top. The bottom can will stay here. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to Command click this area to turn that into a selection. We're going to make a new layer above that and we're going to go to select and I'm going to go to modify we'll go to contract and by about 20 pixels to bring that in you know what I'm going to go to 10 modify contract and we'll go to 10 pixels okay and now I'm on a new layer I'm just going to fill this with uh, this color here there we go so we have this this uh, you know uh, our coat can and things like that the reason why we we chose to make this is because this is going to be what is the underside of the other Coke can. Okay, so now we need to get this Coke can to kind of match what's going on with, um, with this area here. So I'm going to hit Command T on this. Let's just right click and apply this layer, uh, apply the layer mask there. So I'm only dealing with this area. So we applied the layer mask. Now we've got this can. I'm going to hit Command T. We're going to click on this little guy, which is the warp. And I'm going to go over here to Arch. We're going to change our bend to a negative number. And you can see we're starting to bend the other way, which is exactly what we want. There we go. And let's go ahead and hit that checkbox up there. And start to move this into place. OK, so I'm not worried about creating the bottom of the Coke can uh, because I've already created it. That's what this is. Like you can see, this looks horrible. Like that, that doesn't look real at all. Uh, but the bottom of the Coke can is starting to look better there. So I'm gonna hit Command T right now, right click and go to Warp again, and then drag these corners up. So we have, there we go. Because I don't want my letters and things like that to be cut off. Like that's, that's a no-no. Okay, there we go and that looks pretty good so let's hit enter there um i'm just i gotta grab my brush tool here i'm gonna make a new layer and uh, we're, we're gonna have to do some you know hand painting with this tutorial it's just uh it's just gonna be necessary there we go to fill that area in okay so now we have the underside of a coke can now we just have to build this up um this area we're gonna take care of in a little bit uh but this is never gonna look good like you're not gonna be able to get that so we're not even gonna try um, in fact, we're just going to gradient it out like, you know, what a reflection is going to, they taper off anyway. So that's what we want. Okay. So there we go. Now we've got our Coke can on top of there. Let's go ahead and group these things and I can, uh, you know, push that up and pull it down and things like that. Okay. The next thing I need to do is we've got this area here, which is this lighter reflection. Uh, I'm going to hit command J on this and, uh, we're going to just make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And I'm going to fill it now. Let's lock our transparency on this. I'm going to, you know, grab a dark color and fill it. The the hard part here is that we're we're going to pretty much have to create a lot of this uh, you know, the can reflection from scratch. Uh, you could do it uh, you know, like manually. Sorry, you could do it by duplicating this underlying area over and over again. The problem is you're going to continue to run into over and over and over again. You're going to can into you're going to continue to run into the fact that you have to get the back of the can as well and we just don't have enough information for the back so that's why we're having to you know create it each time there we go so I'm gonna create a reflection you know we're gonna create a copy of that and kinda of bring that up there we go and let's apply that transformation we'll bring this one up there All right, so what we're looking for is, you know, to basically create this, uh, the step that you see on the bottom of there, we need to, we need to create the same thing. Oh, I hit the wrong button. We need to create the same thing that's going to lead up to our can here. So something like that. And um, that's looking a lot better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a cue from what's going on up here and kind of duplicate the same thing here. So. I'm going to grab this layer. We'll, we'll lock the transparency on these. By locking transparency, it, it basically just doesn't allow me to paint anywhere except for that layer. 
All right, so there we go. We can see that that's, you know, that's gonna look a little bit better there. Okay, on the top of this, we're probably gonna need to, you know, do some, do some work with that as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and merge all these layers together. Um, you can see we have, you know, the start of, the start of something beautiful here. And uh, let's go ahead and lock tr the transparency on there because I don't want to paint all over my Coke can right now. And um, start painting in our, our reflections, things like that. So again, I am hand painting this. You could make like uh, concentric rings and then, you know, try to get them. But you're, what you're going to do, I tried to do that when I first started, uh, you know, working on this tutorial. Um, what you're going to wind up getting is, um, you know, a little bit of inaccuracies because you're going to have to create the the coke can from scratch. Like you, you have to get the back of the coke can too, and that's what makes this really hard. So I am hand painting this right now, um, and this is I I think some of you guys will probably prefer to do you know uh, another way where you like you basically copy this area, and you could like lower the opacity and things like that. Um, but that's the hard part is because there is no information here. Like it's not like there's nothing I can really copy. Like we're, we're, we have to get what the bottom of the can would look like. And uh, you know, to do that, it's like, well, you don't really have a choice because you can't see it. That's the, that's what makes all this so very hard. All right, but we're gonna, I'm gonna blur this in just a minute and then we'll copy something else out there. So it, it'll make it, you don't have to do a perfect job with this basically is what I'm getting at. Okay, cool, that looks decent there. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer now, this coat can, and I'm gonna select out just the bottom of it here. There we go, and I'll duplicate that too. Okay, so now just the bottom of the coat can, we'll, you know, we'll try like bringing this down. There we go, and then I'm gonna lower the opacity. That, we'll just do that again. Um, so this is kind of like blending in, um, blending in what we did in, you know, hand painting to reality. So we got a little bit of each, meaning neither has to be really that, you know, that perfect. There we go. That's looking a lot better there. Okay, so now we've got our reflection here and we can choose, uh, we have to like line it up now. Um, as far as where that's going to go. All right, let's go ahead and bring all both of those into the same document as well. Didn't I tell you this was going to be hard? Because it is. There we go. Okay, so there's the bottom of our Coke can. And, you know, depending on where you put all this stuff, it's going to determine your, uh, your relative perspective that you're, that you're trying to recreate here. Okay, there we go. So that's the bottom of our quote can now. What we're gonna do, all of that is in a group. So I'm gonna put a layer mask on that group. We're gonna zoom out here and I'm gonna hit G for my gradient tool. We're gonna choose a foreground transparent gradient and just paint it with black. So we've got our, uh, our uh, layer mask that looks like that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and lower the transparency of the entire group. Well, let's bring this back up. And then, you know what, here, I would like to paint this white, like right under here, because right out of reflection, like you're gonna have full visibility, so. There we go. Ah, I wanna redo this. I'm not happy with, <laughs> with that reflection there. All right. There we go, and then maybe from the top down, yeah. We'll do something like that. So there we have it. Let's just change this to a custom color. We'll choose white and full screen that out. I want you to be white too. All right, so there is our Coke can with the reflection that is curved. So you guys can see uh, this was not incredibly easy, but it is rewarding to get done and uh, it looks great. I think it's awesome and you know, I'm trying to do it very, very quickly here for this tutorial, but if you spent more time like uh, hand painting those rings or like making a circle, kind of doing a stroke, filling it with black and, and then lowering the opacity and then filling another with white, lowering the opacity of that, you get a little bit more, more accurate. 
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, and I will Flurn you later. I don't expect any of you guys to make this because it was so dang hard, but if you do feel like challenging yourself, I'd love to see it. Please leave something in the comment box below. Thanks again, guys. I'll Flurn you later. Hey guys, welcome to Photoshop class. <laughs> That's not what it's called.